electromagnetic waves electromagnetic spectrum and at the end of this lecture i will teach you how electromagnetic waves travel in the vacuum or in the space before starting the lecture click on the subscribe button and get access to our hundred of conceptual lectures for free now what are electromagnetic waves well oscillating charges produce oscillating magnetic field and electric field as a result of this electromagnetic waves are produced for example consider this wave motion electric field e oscillates in y direction while the magnetic field b oscillates in x direction as a result of this perpendicular oscillation of electric and magnetic field electromagnetic waves are produced in z direction remember that the oscillation of electric field and magnetic field are perpendicular or at 90 degree while the wave motion along z direction is also perpendicular or at 90 degree to both electric and magnetic fields therefore we define electromagnetic waves as waves produced by the oscillations of electric field and magnetic field at 90 degree are called electromagnetic waves let me repeat it waves produced by the oscillations of electric field and magnetic field at 90 degree are called electromagnetic waves or em waves here let me give you a bonus tip can parallel oscillations of electric and magnetic fields make up an electromagnetic wave well The answer is no. Parallel oscillations of electric and magnetic field will not make up electromagnetic waves. Now what are the different examples of electromagnetic waves or what is electromagnetic spectrum? Well, the different examples are electromagnetic spectrum is radio waves, microwaves, infrared, visible light, UV or ultraviolet x rays and gamma rays they all are electromagnetic waves or em waves this group of electromagnetic waves are also commonly known as electromagnetic spectrum now here you should also learn that why electromagnetic waves are called transverse waves Well, note down that these waves are transverse waves. It is because these waves travel in successive series of crest and trough. Secondly, the oscillation of electric and magnetic fields are perpendicular to the wave motion. So electromagnetic waves are called transverse waves. Remember that electromagnetic waves travel both in the medium and in the space or in the vacuum. It means that they can transfer energy from one place to another place in the vacuum. The sunlight we receive travels through the space. The speed of all electromagnetic waves is round about 3 and to 10 raised to the power 8 meter per second. but this speed of electromagnetic waves vary in different media like solid liquid and gas due to diffraction of waves here let me ask you if these all are electromagnetic waves then why are they different from each other well the answer is very simple it is because of wavelength and frequency We know that there is inverse relationship between them. If you increase the frequency, wavelength decreases and vice versa. Now listen carefully. Radio waves are different from microwaves. It is because both the frequency and wavelength of radio waves are different from the microwaves. Similarly, X-rays are different from gamma rays due to different frequency and wavelength. For instance, when you go from radio waves towards gamma rays, frequency increases and wavelength decreases. Therefore, we say that electromagnetic waves are different from each other due to having different frequencies 
and wavelengths. Finally, let me teach you that how electromagnetic waves travel in the space or in the vacuum. Well, we know that electromagnetic waves are nothing but the perpendicular oscillations of electric and magnetic fields. Means that electromagnetic waves generate because of this perpendicular oscillations of these two fields. Now there are different theories that explain how electromagnetic waves transfer energy in the space. But the most easy is that when electromagnetic waves travel in the vacuum or in the space, energy transfer from the electric field to the nearby magnetic field. And then this energy transfer from the magnetic field to the nearby electric field. This cycle repeat itself in the space and acts as an electromagnetic pendulum in the space. Thus energy is transferred from one place to other place. So by this way electromagnetic waves travel in the space. This was all about electromagnetic waves.